I am particularly interested in the mo at the moment in exploring what the impact of creativity is on learning. And, but really I mean about this is to try and understand learning better. I think we heard uh, from one of the presenters this morning that we actually probably know a lot less about learning than we ought to do. What actually goes on inside the mind, what inside the brain, what are the processes, and what is the relationship here to creativity? Because our experience in working in many countries and thousands of schools is that a focus on creativity does deepen learning, but we don't know why. I think the main gap is that we don't spend enough time talking to the children and young people themselves. We study them, we go and sit in their classrooms, we draw conclusions from what we observe, but we don't actually talk to them in the depth and with the frequency that we really ought to do. Uh, just to give you a small example, we did a small project uh, recently uh, in a grade one class in a primary school in... Um, uh, uh, Western Australia uh, called Bentley and over the course of a whole semester this grade one class redesigned their classroom mm -hmm. and they worked with two amazing practitioners uh, through this process. Now this was a class of mainly recent immigrants with very little English and a lot of psychological problems and many adults think well how could you discuss uh, uh, classroom design <laughs> with children who don't have many words um, and have very little experience of school? It's their first weeks in school. But actually, over the term, they had a really deep conversation. And the children came up with a whole series of concepts which I think are really important. One of the things that they communicated is that texture, light, and smell is a much greater, uh, em has a much greater impact on how they feel about a learning space. And yet it's never the ones that we think about. And architects, you know, like when they finish the building, they go, oh, better put some lights up. <laughs> but actually, that's what the children really notice. And another concept that they had is that they said all spaces are powerful, which after a conversation they were saying is all school spaces articulate power relationships. Now, it was amazing that five-year-olds were saying this, but they're incredibly conscious about these things uh, and these relationships. And if you take the time, they will tell you about it. And I think that too much of our theories of education and learning are based on our observation and our inference as to what we're observing, as opposed to really talking to children and young people about what they're learning. So this conference is the end uh, of a journey uh, that uh, this particular group of people led by the OECD have been working on. And I think that it's been a very good example of a creative learning journey because what we thought we were going to do at the beginning is absolutely not what we have ended up doing. And there was a huge amount of change Stefan this morning gave a brilliant summary presentation which made it all sound very logical and well organised but the reality was that we couldn't, we couldn't have known what we were going to do when we started because we didn't know what we know now and we had the courage to allow what we learnt on the way to influence what we finally did and I think that that is right at the heart of a great creative learning journey.